Hello, this is the tutorial on 12.4b1. This is going to be finding the surface area of prisms. Um, this first one here is a rectangular prism, and uh, you can watch 12.4a1 and 2. Um, that, that will deal real specifically with how to do this. I'll just do a quick review. You can do this either by putting down six lines and then just finding the six sides uh, as such. Or you could also write the numbers like this, 12, 2, and 6, and then do the speech bubble way. 12 times 2 would be 24. There would be two sides of 24. 12 times 6 would be two sides of 72 and 72, and then come across the top for the speech bubble. It would be two sides of 12 and 12. And you could add all of those guys up to get it. This would be 48. Well... This would be 48, this would be 144, this would be 24. I'll just do it, what the heck, since I'm rolling here. 48 plus 144 plus 24 equals, looks like 216. Let me just double check that. This would be about a little less than 200 plus that. Uh, looks like 216, so 216 is going to be feet squared for your answer. Okay, so um, uh, these other ones, you really have to just think about which different sides you have here. And so I am going to do a little drawing for the triangular prism here. So think about this. You're going to have, here's the rectangular side here. There's the other rectangular side, which is going to be over here. Then you've got the two triangles, the front and the back. But you also have this bottom piece. So I like to draw it out. I mean, uh, you think about it, a triangular prism is going to have three rectangular sides, one, two, three, and then the two ends. And then I figure out what the measurements of those are. Remember, for these triangles, it's going to be base times height divided by 2. So this is 6 times 4, which is 24, divided by 2. These are each going to be 12. Okay? Um, this bottom is going to be a rectangle. It's going to be 6 times 11, so this would be 66. And then these ones on the side, they're both 5 times 11, so these would be 55. Now you just add all of those numbers together, and that's going to be your total surface area, and that's going to be in centimeters squared. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this other one here. I'm just going to flop down a, uh, a sticky note so we have a little more writing room. So we're going to have to find the area of a couple of different trapezoids. Let me put down my trapezoids here. Those would be the, 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 uh, the, the bases, these ones here. Move that so I can see that measure. And then you're going to have this rectangular side over here. Uh, you're going to have the back side, which is going to be like over here. That's also going to be a rectangle. You're going to have the top, which is a rectangle. You're going to have the bottom, which is a rectangle. So I know that's tough, but I tried to draw those out kind of in the relationship to where they are. So let's do the trapezoid first. This measurement here is, let me just take a quick look. This is 5. So the area of a trapezoid you can find by using the formula 1 half the height times base plus base. So the two bases together, 5 plus 8, that's going to be 13. And we're going to take 1 half the height. The height is 6, so it's really 6, sorry, it's really 1 half 6 times 13. Well, 1 half of 6 is really 3 times 13. So it's 39 for each of those two trapezoids. So this is 39, and this is 39. So I can think of these. I've got these guys taken care of, the actual trapezoid ends. Okay, so then this side is going to be 11, sorry, 12 times 6.7. So let's take care of that. Uh, 12 times... 6.7, that's 80.4, here 80.4, that shape right there, so we've got 
you know, this one taken care of. So let's do the top. The top is going to be 5 by 12, so that's going to be 60. Okay, let's do the bottom. The bottom is going to be 8 by 12 on the bottom of it here. 8 times 12 is 96. And then we just have this, this back piece, which is going to be 6 times 12. 6, this is because the 12 is here. 12 is here, this 12 is here. We just carry that measurement across 6 times 12, which is 72. And again, add all those measures up, and this is going to be in units squared because there's not a label there. All right. Good luck. I guess I could do one of these for you. Let's just add them all up. These two are going to be 78. So it'll just help me reduce a couple of measurements. So I've got 72 plus 60 plus 78 plus 80.4 plus 96 plus 386.4. Let me see if that makes sense. And a lot of measurements there, so I'll run them one more time. 70, 72 plus 60 plus 78 plus 80.4 plus 96, 386.4. Okay, good luck.